you need to know factors. So to solve this uh, equation, we need to understand some uh, basic terminologies. So let me just give uh, you an example. So if you have a, if you have a quadratic equation like this one, and they ask you to solve, so there are some terminologies that you need to know. First, you need to know. So once you get to know these three things, solving quadratic equation um, will be simple for you of this nature and this one. Okay. So now what is our product here? Our product will be a negative two. So how did I know that it's a negative two? I just got, or oh, this is what you need to do. You check where there is power two and check the number that is in front. So in this case, we have a one and also check the number that has got no later, a constant. So it will be one times negative two, which is negative two. Okay. What about a sum? What, what is our sum in this case? Our sum will be a one. You just look at, uh, at uh, the point where we have x here, the number that is in front, or the coefficient. In this case, there is a 1 here, so this is a 1. Now, what about the factors, when we talk about factors? We are simply talking about two numbers, such that when you multiply them, they give you negative 2. And when you add them, they give you a 1. Okay? So, what are those numbers? It's actually negative 1 and a 2, of course. So when we say negative 1 times 2, it's giving us negative 2. Uh, negative 1 plus 2, it's giving us a 1. Okay. So once we reach this point, we reach this point, we now arrange, we, 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 we arrange our work. So we're going to say x power 2, this x power 2, where there is x here, we substitute. We are going to use the factors. That's the reason why we decided to find the factors. So it will be plus 2x minus x minus 2 is equal to 0. So I've just substituted, if you're able to see, what is here, substituted these. So this one is say, the one which is right here, and this one is the one which is right here. We know that there is a negative 1 here, a 1 in front. So you just substitute them, and you are good to go. Maybe your question may be, is there any order to follow in terms of putting these factors here? No, there is no order. You can put them in whichever way you want to put them. If you want, you can start with the negative x plus 2 or the way they are. So after doing this, you now factorize by grouping. You see what I've done? You check now. What is it that is common? That is found here and here. It's x. So write it outside. Here we shall have x plus a 2. You see, this is what we remain with. When you factor out x, here we remain with x, here you remain with 2. x and x will cancel. Here we remain with only 1x. And then here when you check, what is it that is common? It's a negative 1. So here we remain with the x, here like that. So this is what we have. And you must make sure when solving a quadratic equation like this, that... Uh, what is here and here are similar. Can you see? If they are different, just know that what you are doing is wrong. So after reaching this point, you now pick what is here, x, and what is here, minus c, 1. Write it inside. You see, we have these two. This one, forget about it. Pick the one which is here. Because they are similar. So just pick one. And this is what we have. You see, equal to 0. You see? So now, from this point, you say x minus 1 is equal to 0, or x plus 2 is equal to 0. Just get this equal to 0, or this equal to 0. Okay. Next, you solve. You shall have x is equal to a 1. This one will come this side, it will be equal to the 1. Here, this one will come this side, it will be equal to negative 2. So these are the two solutions for the example we have right here. Now, let's try to apply all these steps to this one, okay? And see how it will, it will look like. So I'm going to 